Hello my friends, we will continue our diamond painting Christmas tree, very pretty Christmas tree from fancell.com link under the video, we created video number one that I created kind of like vlogging type of uh, video, a little bit of how I pick uh, gems for this project from my leftovers without opening the other one and also I use uh, the one that I didn't have in my stash you can see that I place already some kind of color and what I want to show you in here and we will continue to go with this AB colors in here in a minute but if you remember the design in here a little bit um, kind of was off lopsided so I had to push this well it's so dark you know it's only almost four o'clock but so dark the sky is so gray that even light in here kind of you know i don't like to work with light but i have to because day now is so short i have no time to record in a daylight video uh yeah i push a little bit of this green diamonds in here because this side was mostly from here point upside left sided kind of so I push greens a little bit further and then I managed to place AB colors on a very, very, very edge. The other side that is, here is too much of the light. I probably can make it a little bit better from the top, just a minute, maybe like this. In here I will try to bring these diamonds a little bit maybe off side this way to point. Um, we'll see if that will work or not but I placed some diamonds but also what I want to show you I created already for you to show you finished little tiny piece in here let me just zoom out and make sure my phone is muted there I have a little cute owl family in here you can see the baby doesn't have in the middle any gems, just a owl, mama and owl father. So which one is who? Um, I don't know. Do you think this this is the male, this is female, or opposite way? What do you think? Who is dressed up more with the hat? This one is, has a beautiful, beautiful gems. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky right now to show you this artificial light and please forgive me, the day is so short and I was recording other videos as well. And also I finish my base. So we can kind of speed up this video a little bit. Here is my base, if I can show you this way. It's beautiful, it's shining. Those AB diamonds all the way around in here looks gorgeous. If we can zoom a little bit close to not to lose light, here you can see, can be too much over flash and the, oh, there you can see kind of shine of the ABs in here if I hold the light a little bit this way. But if you would look from this like a sideway a little bit because of the stickers, they are stick on the bottom in here and the acrylic block is thick. So when we look in, sideway it will look for you like I place my diamonds not straight in the symbol but when we look completely from the top you can see like for example see like in here okay why am I turning see like if you would watch me placing my diamonds you would think wow Natalia you are so bad you're not covering your numbers but I did actually if you look in it this way straight from the top you can see the all symbols cover as much as possible right on the top so yeah this is a little tricky because the of the thickness kind of make your illusion like you're not placing right and oh sorry hit the camera so this one is good now i i try to put in here my string that was attached um well in a kit you will receive this little string in here on a kit and you know i put in here like this looped and put not in here but I have to redo it because if we look in here I think I need to zoom out even more there if I would put this piece in here 
this like go way too far on this design so and my hoop kind of will catch up like right there so I will have to place somewhere like maybe in here so it doesn't really feel like I need this string almost like just some kind of ring to put in here between two of them and that's it but I guess I'm just going to redo my knot a little bit further to the center in here so when my tree stand this piece not covering on the bottom in here all right so that's what I wanted to show you this this two pieces are completed and of course we will see them all when we put my Christmas tree to decorate house soon of course you will see them all displayed somewhere in here around Catherine would happy to display them already now I'm looking at from my tray where did I put my tray uh-huh where is my tray? I've been stitching, diamond painting. Where is my tray? Okay, I have to get another one. This or what? Right. I will put this on blue tray because my white one. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably with my custom diamond painting. Okay. Anyway, I want to work with you in here. Or on simple tree, or probably maybe we will continue with the A B's all the way around. So if I zoom close so you can see it, let's see how we're gonna get this. Because oh, this one part as well, like you can see, you see how it's going close all the way in here and then here. So it's the same thing, I will have to push my green diamonds a little bit further so let me see AB diamonds where we have them I think I like almost completed that they have in my stash yet so now we will open the brand new package of goodness look at them need my scissors And I'm just going to put them the whole thing probably on this tray so we can enjoy the sparkle. So yeah, I created a little bit of the camera. I can show you like all the way in here. See, uh, on this corner, kind of I went with this symbol tree and I thought I will work with you on this place. So this is all this part in here will be in this green color love those flowers they are pretty and of course we have our big gem on the top in here so yeah today we will work with ab diamonds and hopefully we can see good because the light is gone oh with this artificial light these diamonds are so sparkle Look at that. Usually to put them into the line, I kind of spread them to the whole link of the tray. And then, if I can show you a little bit more further, let's just take this away for in case something jump off the tray and will stick to the glue. And then you just slowly go to one side, kind of crank it up your tray and then go the other side back and forth a few times and then kind of sideways but also um, kind of crank it up but to make those diamonds that too many will go to your side and you will have and you will have all this look at the play of the rainbow just look at look at okay gorgeous gorgeous now let's start not sure how much we can start because my hubby already called he will bring me coffee he's coming home shortly my puppy already looking for him on the window okay so 
I, I have to use light. So if I will create a little bit shadow, I think I have no choice. And this is definitely far away from me. No. Let me bring this design to me. Then camera bring to me so I can see design a little bit more. Let's try. Let's try a magnifier. Okay. Okay, see now you can see good colors. Just look on the screen right now, whatever you're doing, because you don't wanna miss it. I like when it's a cluster of them and they look shiny nice and also my favorite thing to do with gems is to bring them close to the camera and make it off the focus and that's where is magic look at that isn't it magical looking when they are off the focus my favorite thing to do oh this is gorgeous because you you don't see like a glass object but you can see all the rainbow colors that they have that's what really the cool stuff to do after after um, focus okay so now let's try to make this diamonds and i'm literally stuck in here into my magnifier how much we can see not much I may have to pause a little bit and uh, continue with this one. Maybe some more, well, maybe tomorrow morning. Because all oh, days, now days is coming. Oh yeah, my husband home. I will continue later. While I waited till house get nice and quiet, I snapped some sparkle video from my Instagram from my TikTok yes well, or TikTok 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 whatever that is I still trying to figure out <laughs> if I want to keep the program or not many times I just kinda I go there pause then I kinda um, log out then go there I still think I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I like Instagram, TikTok, I could not get there too often. So it's pretty much, I want to kind of try again. So if you have TikTok account, you can find me there. I think that uh, it's supposed to be a real name, right? So Natalia Simpson, you can find me. There is a link to my channel up there, so you definitely, well, Obviously, you will see my picture, so you will know it's me. I follow a few people, so I'm trying to find my crafty friends and beauty friends. So, TikTok account, it's kind of will be about everything. Not just about craft, but also about beauty. I need to create more cute video. I'm still kind of learning. So there's uh, some new features added to that program. So I'm trying to learn that. By the way, I think the Cyber Monday, whatever that was sales, and we're talking about now sales on a website and fan sale also. Oh, I'll, before I forget, false fan sales, give me a discount code for you and if you careful enough you probably already seen my description box it should be up there pinned it, it will be posted with every of my video that I record there is a discount code uh, how much is it uh, or 10% let me check let me check I'm going to into my I'm just gonna go on my cell phone quickly to my YouTube channel and I will tell you exactly what this is before I forget if I go to my channel just click on any video and I will go into description box just a minute my friends 
description box. Let me find it. Fan cells, season five off. So it's a uh, five percent off. You have to do all in little. There's no capitals. Season five off, and you will get five percent off. So thank you very much, fan cell for that. Every dollar counts. So I think that's good. Also, there's lots of people still waiting from fan cell to put wish list back, but they still don't do it. I don't know. I ask many times, but I, I have no idea why it's difficult. But anyway, this gems is just so amazing. I keep looking on my tray because it is truly beautiful. 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 So is this pen. If you're looking for something fancy and sparkle, check it out the store. And you can find that pen up there with the um, round tip. This one has a round tip, also has a square one and a little bit different design. So I can show you right now. If if you are new on my channel, maybe you did not see it. They have this kind of pens up there as well. Also, there is a... Um, this one also round tip but they also have a round and square and they are such a beautiful pen to display i love to see them look at that it's just gorgeous so yeah check it out fans i'll have them for a good price and it's something you know it's good to have very sparkle in your possession that you will look and it's gonna make you smile because it's so beautiful so we definitely will finish this diamond painting today if you did not see my first video I will link it up for you because up there we did lots of sparkles as well I showed you my collection of gems it's always very satisfying video I love this kind of videos and I hope you do too. So we will outline this and also there's diamonds, hold on I missed one in here on the back but uh, also we have them in here around the flowers if you can see right oh i didn't pick the diamond right here between each of those beautiful petals it's so satisfying to pick these diamonds from the tray really really good quality gems okay so we will continue to do edges my furry friend sleeping next to me I have my fresh coffee let me readjust a little bit light maybe oh look when I'm readjusting light this diamond in here sparkle All my design is open so when I need to take a break and to cover I'm using a parchment paper that's the best because all this cut out of the tree it's kind of hard to place later back when you already open so parchment paper do a good job and I see I need to refill a little bit of wax because AB diamonds have this ability to make diamonds not wax not sticky anymore so we are going to recharge our pen and keep going actually this diamonds not bad 
this particular AB diamonds um, they stick into the pen not bad but this one that I will show you right now if you can look up to the screen this one AB it's like a pearls uh, there's even different kind of AB they kind of take in a stickiness of the pen much faster it's the kind of layer of the foil oh so pretty so I think right now this is my second tree that we will finish and I have one more for sure I don't remember if I have another one but there's more Christmas ornaments that I have and oh wait a minute you are watching this video I think on December 1st so this is now count down count down till Christmas oh yes we are so close okay kind of dark maybe I see lots of girls uh, creating like taking a uh, diamond painting put on a section and like a countdown calendar I would probably try it but it's definitely something not what I like to section so I think I will skip that part of countdown and diamond paint by section like a calendar thing I will pick the brand new canvas to work on that's for sure because we have lots of beautiful canvases so maybe if I don't finish some canvases to the end of the year, there's like a flowers, whatever. I hope you will forgive me for that. Because flowers can wait, Christmas can't. We need to decorate our house for Christmas. So the more decorations or canvases will finish now, the more beautiful this will be. I may be okay let me know if this is a good idea to actually dig again in my box big box of my finishes and pull out all Christmas images and showcase for you before Christmas like I did for Halloween I think that was fun video you saw many of them finished and that's gonna create good video if you want to order or not by the look of finished project so maybe I should do the same thing for the winter images not just like a Christmas but uh, all winters comment and maybe I can get brave and create I have to hold it here because it's keep bouncing glue is very sticky in here so when I pull out pen like this see it's bouncing I have to hold this tight so yeah let me know if you want to do that and I will dig in usually every year on the end of the season I showcase all craft that I created through the year I don't know if I will do this this year because for so many times I keep digging through those boxes and showing you different stuff that I think I mix some of them more likely it's a big possibility that some of them probably got mixed up with last year for example especially Halloween okay I'm trying to find a spot how to get on camera very dark very dark See, I cannot mm -mm. very dark and I cannot do nothing about it maybe bring them close to the light I more so I'm not sure if I will have that kind of video again or not maybe I just will do like I say 
time from time show you by the seasons so now we have season uh, Christmas winter right and then I will show you for example on a springtime Easter which I don't have too many Easter I think okay so now in here see I have to well it's kind of not bad this side though but in here kind of more room clear but I think that's okay I just going to place it on a symbol as it is even part of this white a little bit bigger than it should be because of the sticker place not very straight I think it still should be all right okay extra how about my other light is that will help you little let me bring one more helper my other lamp okay maybe it will help a little bit or not okay so we created all the way up there now we go to the top of the tree which is this side now you see like how much white space in here but I think there's nothing I can do about it. We're just going to place as much as possible, kind of a little bit stretched this way, but we still have to do on a symbol. And this light is out flashing. Can you see even? Can you even see my diamonds? That's it, definitely. Tomorrow morning I will wake up early and try to create videos first thing in the morning before sun go down okay now I have to place on a symbol because it's going to be visible and will be driving me not okay also we have a a b around this is kind of like a Christmas star with this big gem in here so we have to outline with a b also let's do that there's some colors that I already finished I have lots of left yet even uh, those that I did not like mm, not the one that I take from my stash but the one that I was didn't have a match and I place I have a good amount of gems left over so that's good go back into my collection up there Okay, have to push it here a little bit. See, this time it's a little bit not straight. I have to push it over. To make the straight a little bit better. Look at my pen. Oh, I love it. I am such a sparkle person now in here you see the way I push this green gem in here right in here because I don't have a room in here for those ABs on the edge so I think I will take away this one green gem because it's on my way to create perfect circle with my twister right in here if I don't take this gem out, I don't have a connection circle of AB. So I will be taking the green away and place my AB on that spot. And you can see the glue is really strong. I don't want to give me a gem. I will place in a symbol where I have three, which is in here on the bottom, tons of them. So I'm just going to place anywhere else. Alright, so now... So that's how you kind of fix in your design if you have to. Okay, now I have more room in here for ABs and it's kind of continuous 
outlining which is great what did I just do okay this one oh no this is one in here oh I thought I placed the wrong no this is one also kind of like a one single gem doesn't make a sense though you know what it's actually two oh, hold on let me check through the magnifier glass this is something suspicious huh okay here is what's suspicious here is the green diamond symbol G go all the way around symbol 2 go all the way around and symbol 1 go all the way around so where we have a circle of 2 we have one wrong symbol in here which says 1 it's supposed to be 2 well that's a very minor mistake but it's visible so instead of a b there is going to be some different color in here number two what was the number two? Oh, there you go number two it's actually will be this pearl lesson a b pearls i mean yeah a b pearls so it wouldn't be very visible probably but still we have to do the right way okay that's an interesting mistake that i did not see first when i placed the diamond up there There, our connected circle, and let's do outline and more. My wax already feels like went inside of my pen. Also, these diamonds were easy to place, and I think I placed some of them because. Uh, when I was working on a base and I was doing ABs and just keep sticking and pulling my uh, dime, I mean wax away from the pen and I was using a different pen maybe because I was using a plastic pen uh, this one may be holding better I don't know but I was placing them with my tweezers and let's try a little bit together and here I will kind of zoom out a little bit so you can see more and I will put tray next to it and it's very easy to work with the tweezers if you don't want to work with the pen and fight with the wax also wax making your sh diamonds not as shiny so if you want complete shine, beautiful sparkle, place them with your tweezer and they will be nice and clean or just wipe them later to make a shiny again. I don't want these diamonds to finish, they are so pretty. So basically, I'm just like, sometimes not even pushing them down. Just bring it and drop it in the glue and just slightly make sure it's in the right place like just a little bit with the tip kind of tap it but then when you cover later with your um, let's say parchment paper you know, let's let's create more lines look at the gorgeousness so uh, later with the parchment paper when you cover everything then you just press them more harder just to make sure secure and it's not going nowhere anymore uh, good thing to pick your diamonds not 
this way from the tray but a long way to way the grid go this way kind of easy to catch Okay, I think right now I will finish this AB diamonds by myself. We have all the way around to yet go all the way this little hook that our ornaments will be hanging on it and go all the way in this big circle and meet up in here. And then I will be working with you uh, in here because that's a big area with the same gems so it will be probably easy for me to set up the camera and I will do this tomorrow morning together with you quickly uh, it's done it is next morning and look how much nicer now it's nice bright from the window and that's the pearls I did not have enough that I have a little bit in my package so I did open new package and we will continue with the pearls the kind of like snow almost like a snow interpretate for the tree in here and I like the way it's look because I already placed on other spots so only left this one is like a garland if I pronounce right sometimes i say english word and i'm just like oh my god it sounds so weird it probably wrong but you know me in english we are still trying to get friendly together okay my friends i was shopping last night at the website that I did review before those gorgeous die cuts because I want to create some beautiful fresh cards for Christmas and we will do with you together so at DIY digital art they brought so many new product oh if you did not see it I highly recommend you go check it out there new collection of the die cuts for the Christmas oh my god it's so gorgeous I I got few plates so hopefully will arrive before Christmas so we can use them <clears throat> and then there's a whole bunch of new stuff up there in the mold section silicon molds oh some of them is just to die for if you love silicon you have to go and check. Okay, I see a little fluff in here. Okay. Time from time I have to pick it up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Not sure if cell still is going on, like the cyber cell or cyber Monday, whatever that was. It could be lots of stores still have that sales going on. If you're looking for something that is affordable, I would say go and check. Uh, I didn't really look what they have up there from like other stuff like diamond painting or cross stitch up there. But like a, on a paper craft section, oh it's gorgeous. And I got something very interesting stuff for you to review. I would love you to pick something for me. What would you like to review? So maybe I will create poll kind of in Facebook group to ask you. That way I would know what to order for next time and there's something maybe you're interested in it. And I would do that product review. So maybe that's a good idea what you're saying. Okay, 
hoping to readjust here a little bit. I'm using my bandy tool. I just for a feel of wax it still start to coming out a little bit. Okay. See, I like the way mm, this white pearls. It's like a, a lace go around. You know, it goes like this. It looks really good when it's done. They are very pretty. Pearls always make everything looks better and brighter. See, it's like bringing any design more kind of to life, make it brighter. Okay, two more left and I'm done because after camera last night I placed lots of gems because I know the video will be already a little bit longer and I kind of forgot I placed this gold um, diamonds in here. So anyway, we are done with symbol two. Let me put them back into container in here. So I almost finished what I have in leftovers in this color of pearl. So it's, that's the only left this pod and so I had to open new package uh, now I have lots of them will be left over for my next time and then we have green I have one more bag left of greens I already used one so we are going to open this new one where is my scissors always here I kind of like my setup in here. It's everything close, reachable. And I can just sit in my chair and get what I need to get. I will shake it off the camera because I don't want this accidentally stick. This glue is really, really strong on this 3D projects. You don't want to shake your diamonds. And spill accidentally so now here for the good daylight we can see like it's go like very dark emerald and then when you flash a light it changes colors to a beautiful green see how this diamonds nice so let's place and finish our tree I am so excited over this tree okay I will start from the bottom in here okay sneak all the way to the corner first okay did you like my story yesterday Oh, that was a uh, some story. If you didn't listen, go ahead. Now it's just a waiting game for the truck to be fixed. So I'm I'm happy. So last night, because I did not want it to finish this tree without you, as I told you, we will be working a little bit more together. So I finished what I finished, like from the top tree and uh, the other corner up there. So I just left like this one patch. And so I had to put aside so we can finish like this morning together with you. So I was working on my um, diamond painting on custom of my niece and I created good chunk I basically almost finished her face because just a few diamonds left up there that they kind of missed at night 
um, because I work at night a lot on that one and I started to create the grass area up there on the bottom looking good so far so that one too I need to well it's kind of no rush but because it's a brand new custom so I want to finish sooner to show you the quality and show you if we like diamonds that store picked okay it's right now December 1st yes as I record this video it's December 1st so congratulations everybody we went to a last month of the 2021 and now it's a countdown till Christmas it is December 1st we still have snow on the grass it kind of turned a little bit like a icy and today I believe supposed to be rain so the snow probably will melt but then they promise more snow and it's actually my husband says it will be like a plus five so I'm not complaining I I don't care if we wouldn't have any snow I like summer <laughs> I like summer this green are so rich it's beautiful so we will create at least um, this patch maybe and then this patch that's the only will left for me to finish and we are done that's a little bit flush on the tree if I lift a little bit this design to the see how it's brighten if you can look up oh I really really love this this gorgeous long gems are so sparkle Catherine went to school right now it's a morning it's still it's 8 59 let's say nine o'clock in the morning I had not bad sleep even I went to sleep like maybe around three o'clock in the morning I feel good now I will be recording a couple more videos review and then I really need to create some with you last night I went on Pinterest time from time I like to go on that website and look what is going on up there and came across of some of the paper craft that remind me my childhood that I used to love to do when I was a kid decoration for Christmas from paper and you know I'm oh Daisy okay sorry about the neighbors park and she run because she think it's daddy okay my apology this is friendly friendly house we have pets okay anyway so when I was a kid I'm a kid of 70s you know yeah <laughs> tell this to your kids this generation what 1900s <laughs> shocking right those people still live so anyway 
if remind me what we did as a kids how we decorate our house and you know many of you will think of back back to 70s how we create the snowflakes cut it out from the paper and place them on a window glass with water to make them stick uh, some angels, some decoration for the Christmas tree, just a plain white paper could be, because um, whatever we could afford up there, just didn't have too much to choose, especially if I live in a village there is absolutely no craft store. I don't think back then we even have any craft stores, just like a school supplies, whatever you can find this um, construction paper that's a little bit colorful. That's it, that was the craft. And pencils, whatever you can color for yourself, that's what you're getting. So I saw some th something on Pinterest that I created as a child and I thought, wow, that would be such a fun probably video one day to do it with you. Just like, uh, you know, um, how would we call it? Uh, hold on, hold on. I have this in my head. Let me think about it. Mm, just, just a minute. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm thinking. Flashback. That's the word I was looking for. Flashback. Yes, from, you know, the Christmas decoration from 70s. Even 60s, if you 60s, you probably did exactly the same what we did in 70s. So whatever we create with our hands, mostly that was our decorations. A uh, squirrel just happened on my window. When I was little, uh, maybe like uh, I don't know. I remember I have I have a memory when I was probably in first grade, and my sister and her friend was creating me a costume of the snowflake princess or something like that. Uh, how we use plain white paper to create some kind of something for my uh, feet um, like a not socks but like a something like a ruffles from my legs uh, we had like a cotton fluff to create the crown some wires and broken glass ornaments oh my god then from some I even created, when I was older, I created uh, my own crown of the Snow Queen later. I even won some prize for the costume. Uh, I created like a um, dress from, like a bigger dress from my sisters, something that they don't wear anymore. And it was a white sheer fabric. And I made a dress for myself. Oh, that, that was a sweet memory, I'm telling you. Christmas when you were a kid, that was a magical moment, Christmas, because you, you still believe in magic. And yes, as every kid, I wanted to have a snow sitting by the window waiting now no give me sandy beach and like 30 degrees celsius outside i'm comfortable to be in a heat Okay, we are going to finish this patch and the other one I will finish by myself. This video probably going to be hour long again. I hope you diamond painting with me. 
or maybe your cross stitching or maybe you doing something paper crafty you know what else I missed that's the flower makings from papers I used to make lots of them from ribbons as well that's why I have such a huge collection of ribbons every time I would go to a dollar store I come back home with few spools all the time of new ribbons or lace oh my goodness I spent so much money on a craft people would shop for clothes and shoes I shop for craft and now I'm thinking like oh I really need to go and update my wardrobe a little bit. So yeah, I'm still thinking how to attach this owl families. Uh, in my previous video I kind of said uh, two owls uh, and then I'm watching my video and I was like how do they say the two if that's three up there? There's a baby in the middle. But I kind of forgot to edit my mistake and write down on the screen but that's okay. Two adult owl and a baby up there. But of course baby we didn't put any diamonds on it, so maybe that's why I said it's two. See from this angle of the camera you watching diamonds looks very deep and dark. Let me get fresh wax a little bit. Lots of ideas, you know, going through the head, what to create, like so much to share and so little time. How to get everything? I don't know. And then, you know, I wanted, at the beginning of this year, I wanted to create a video because. Uh, in some point lots of you were asking me questions about YouTube channel uh, because many of you wanted to create your own YouTube account and I kind of let that fly and did not create it and last night I was thinking about this a lot and I think I, I need to kick myself from behind sit down and create that video because it might will help for everyone because the way I learn I went through many many youtubers influencers to learn some tips and tricks from them and I can give you now from my experience what I learn everything kind of in one or two videos I really have to do this so maybe for 2022 you decide that actually it's a good idea to have YouTube channel some still create only videos and post on Instagram and they are happy with Instagram 
but you know what with YouTube channel you can earn some money some income for your family and I do have some incomes and there's a many ways and I want you to have the same thing I want you to make some money for your family or you're spending money for crafts it's not big money that I'm receiving right now from YouTube channel but I do receive money from YouTube channel so I really want you to think about it and actually depends how many of you would like to have this kind of video for me to create for you to teach you a little bit and maybe you will be interested to create your channel so sometime on the road from now you can support your family some grow very fast some slow what I'm stuck somewhere in the middle. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will add these three last diamonds because this video will be very, very long. You can look up right now on your screen and check this little piece that we created. Look how beautiful those gems looks like. So now I'm just gonna quickly after camera finish this spot and I will display for you the finish Christmas tree. Here we are, it's all done. Well, not the best uh, spot hot to display it's a little bit dark in the house because it is winter not much sunlight go through the window I try even a little bit like um, artificial light but did not work very well anyway so I'm just gonna show you like this diamonds looks beautiful look how I, I like how it's go like a lacy design in here it's like a snow fluffy snow on a tree those gorgeous flowers with AB gems are beautiful. Then we have, of course, I cut, make a shorter in here. So now it's not touching bottom. It's hanging there and looks gorgeous. Look at that. And then, of course, we have base. So if you, like the base is double-sided on this side and of course it's going on the back up there is also gems but the tree is one-sided in here some of you I know received tree that is double-sided I'm not sure I, I still have one more tree to go I think and I'm not sure if that one will be double-sided or not but this one for now is absolutely gorgeous I hope you like this whip and chat together gorgeous love love this acrylic projects beautiful so if you have money and you need, uh, you know, for somebody gift, I think it's a beautiful gift for Christmas. Thank you very much everyone for watching with me or diamond painting with me. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day.